we plan to focus on the following. One, road expansion and repair programs island-wide. Two, school plant rehabilitation. Three, government plant re refurbishment. Four, construction works at St. Jude Hospital. Five, commencement of work on the Sufre Hospital. Six, establishment of the Castries Urban Polyclinic. Seven, completion of works on the Larissus Wellness Center. Eight, rehabilitation of sporting facilities, including Darren Sami Cricket Ground, for readiness to host the ICC Cricket World Cup, the refurbishment, the refurbishment of the Viewfort Stadium, Min, the Mindo Philip Park, and Marsha and Marsha Grounds, the Bellevue Playing Field, and the Grosley Playing Field. Nine, construction of the National Aquatic Center. Ten, housing developments in Rosso Casaban Shop. Eleven, expansion of energy projects to seek alternatives that will, di that will diversify our, en our energy needs and reduce our carbon footprint. Twelve, the library market. Thirteen, rehabilitation of the Rudy John Beach Park. Fourteen, the Grand Riviere Community Center. Fifteen, the Northern Police Headquarters. Sixteen, the Northern Police Auditorium. Seventeen, completion of the custody suites. Eighteen, the Caldesac Community Center. Nineteen, Community Center for Castries North and Castries East. Twenty, completion of the control tower at the Hironora International Airport. Twenty-one, commencement of the terminal building at the Hironora International Airport. Twenty-two, private public sector construction by GPH at Port Castries and Sufre. Twenty-three, the Canaries Market. Twenty-four, the Miku Jetty. Twenty-five, community, community tourism projects. Twenty-six, repairs to fishing complexes. Twenty-seven, the Viewford Entertainment Center. Twenty-eight, the Halls of Justice. Twenty-nine, the Digital Infrastructure Enhancement. Thirty, investments in upgrading government services to online platforms. Additionally, Mr. Speaker, we shall seek to strengthen the, reliance, the, the resilience of our fire service, expand food security programs, continue to support our youth and small and medium-sized enterprises, and leveraging the opportunities the blue economy presents.